Let's take a look at this problem. Let x and y be real numbers such that 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of y are both equal to 216. Find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. In this video, I'm going to share with you two methods to solve this problem. The first one involves logarithms. So, we can take out from this equation that 2 to the power of x equals 216, and at the same time, 3 to the y equals 216. Notice that this number, 216, is actually exactly 6 cubed. So, now we have two equations that involves powers. And then we can take logarithms on both sides. So log of 2 to the power of x equals log of 6 to the power of 3. And then we can move the, the index to the side of the logarithm. And so we have x times log 2. We can do similar things on the other side. And so we have 3 times log 6. And so that means we have found out that x is equal to 3 times log 6 over log 2. Now we actually don't need to compute the value, like say the decimal value of this variable x, because we are only asked to find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y. So Let's see what would 1 over x actually be. In fact, it's equal to log 2 over 3 times log 6. We can do similar things on the second equation. Again, logarithms. Again, moving the indices to the side of the logarithm, which means y times log 3 equals 3 times log 6. So when y is equal to 3 times log 6 over log 3. And hence, 1 over y equals log 3 over 3 times log 6. So now we can add them directly. We can do this because they are equal to two fractions with the same denominator, exactly the same denominator, 3 times log 6. And the numerators are just logarithms, and they can be added together, which is equal to log of 2 times 3, which is actually exactly 6. So the log 6 can be cancelled out. That means 1 third is our final answer. So this is the first method to solve this problem. Now I'm going to show you the second method. So again, we have two equations. Is that 2 to the power of x equals 6 cubed, and 3 to the power of y equals 6 cubed as well. Now for this method, I'm going to start with the expression 1 over x plus 1 over y. I'm going to rewrite that as x plus y divided by xy, as in combining them into one single fraction. So this encouraged me to find, to express xy in terms of the numbers, and at the same time, x plus y as well. So this time, I'm going to take the y power on this equation, on this equation, which means 2 to the power of x all to the power of y is equal to 6 cubed all to the power of y. Then simplifying, we're just actually multiplying the indices. So 2 to the power xy equals 6 to the power 3y. We can do similar things on the other equation, but this time taking the index to the power x. So 3 to the y all to the power of x equals 6 cubed, all to the power of x. That means 3 to the power xy 
Again, multiplying the indices, we have 3 to the power xy equals 6 to the power 3x. Now we can actually combine the two, both equations, these two equations, by multiplying left-hand side together, multiplying right-hand side together. So multiplying for left-hand side, we have 2 to the power xy times 3 to the power xy. And for the right, we have 6 to the power 3y times 6 to the power 3x. Notice that for the left-hand side, they have the same indices. So that I can have something about xy, which is 6 to the power xy. And for the right-hand side, we have the same basis for the two powers. So we can add the indices when we multiply the whole number. That means we have 6 to the power 3x plus 3y. So comparing like terms, we can see that xy equals 3x plus 3y. Or in other words, xy and x plus y are in a ratio 3 to 1. So that means I can directly say that x plus y over xy is simply moving the 3 to the other side. And so we have the fraction 1 third again. So this is the answer to this problem.